November 10, 1775, the Continental Congress passed a resolution drafted by John Adams directing the Naval Committee to raise two battalions of Marines. This was done primarily to assist the fledgling Continental Navy in a planned amphibious expedition to Nova Scotia, though Congress had determined that the Marines would continue to serve afterwards. Within a year, American Marines had made their first landing on a hostile shore when a force under Captain Samuel Nicholas captured New Province Island in the Bahamas from the British in March 1776. The Marines were disbanded at the end of the Revolution, but re-established as a permanent military force in July of 1798. This Day in History brought to you by Blue Cross Blue Shield of Massachusetts, partnered with the Freedom Trail Foundation to bring history to life.